Today we're going to visit the antique findery. It's what happens when a hobby transforms itself into a business. And today we're going to find out how. You guys. Welcome Good morning. to Magic Good morning. Bindering. Have you been here before? I have not. This is my very first time. Awesome. Welcome in. We have um, 15 different vendors. You want to go check the place Absolutely. out? Absolutely. Let's look at it. Cool. This is one of our most popular booths. Mm -hmm. um, she has everything floral. You can buy everything individually, which a lot of our customers do. And she's got some really amazing little little pieces here and there that people really look for to um, fix up their homes for the different seasons. So day to day running an antique store in downtown Cleburne, you know, what is it that brings you the most joy? What's the what's the fun part of running For store? me it's meeting all the new people. That's the first question I ask them when they come in is like, where are you from? Yeah. And we get people from all over the Metroplex and uh -huh. even out of state sometimes. So that for me that's meeting the new people. That's what the... So this used to be a hobby for you guys, right? Yeah. So how did this actually turn into a business? Uh, go ahead. It was about nine and a half, ten years ago now. We used to go camping in this little town in California. And on the way, there was this little teeny tiny store. And every time we would drive by, it would have so many different things in it. We would have to stop. It just right. changed up all the time. Mm -hmm. And we would take a few things home, this trip and that trip. And we started collecting all this stuff. And we're like, oh, it would be really, really awesome if one day we could have our own our own shop. shop. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, you know, it's been something that we've been wanting to do for a really, really long time. Mm -hmm. And then last year, we finally jumped in and... Had a couple of booths. A couple of booths at a, a store out at the mall and just fell in love with it. And it just happened that the timing was all right. We were out of the mall and this place came open and we yeah. decided to just, to Pull the just trigger go and do for it. it. Yeah. yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's been great. Awesome. It's been great. Dream come true, really. Right, right. So you guys are located here at uh, 104 South, South, South Main. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Well, look at this. <laughs> you need a good boot jack? Actually, I do because I've got a pair of new, uh, they're fairly new boots. They are not broken in. And uh, my, my wife has to help me <laughs> <laughs> to pull them off. <laughs> and sometimes that's pretty hilarious, but this is a good example of, of not being an antique. I actually hand make these myself. These, oh, uh, this okay. This is actually out of a cherry wood. So. Ah, fantastic. This this will be for me. Good. <laughs> you need to get one for your wife too. <laughs> no. You want to get this one? Sure. All right. My treat. Oh, okay. Thank you. You could have opened a business anywhere, mm -hmm. but you chose downtown Cleveland, and I would like to know why. We bought a house here three years ago in December and fell in love with the community. The uh, revitalization of downtown in Cleveland has been amazing. So to be a part of that is just really unique and have the foot traffic that we have from people all over the Metroplex coming in to shop here has, has helped tremendously with our business. So there's no better place to be than on the, the square downtown. So there you go. Thank, Thank you enjoy. so much. Appreciate that. Enjoy. Awesome. All right. So it's been great getting to meet Laura and Stacy here and Christina here at the Antique Findery. See what they've got to offer. It's a really nice antique shop. And uh, if you're in the mood for some antiques in downtown, you definitely have to come visit the Antique Findery.